page color photo. Over 200,000 books sold on QVC. I can't thank you enough. We've got another great look at it coming up a little later in this show. If you've not yet picked it up or want to pick up an extra copy for a friend, six easy pays and free shipping today. Wow. All right, only order of the season from this great item from Le Creuset, but I shouldn't say item, I should say items. Yeah, it's a collection. Because it's a collection, exactly. This is Nan Kelly. We're thrilled to have you back. Hi. Welcome back, Sugar Pie. Happy spring. Nice to see you. Good to see you. You look too. like springtime today. Thank you, so do you. Thank you. So this is the Le Creuset cast iron, two and a quarter quart flower cocotte. Mm -hmm. So that's the cast iron piece. And then you're giving us two mini cocottes in stoneware, yes. but they all match back in color. Yes, they do. So if you have any of our cast iron, they're going to match your colors. We have some special colors too, hibiscus. But David, this is a specialty shape mm. and you definitely should make it for mom on Mother's Day or give it as a gift for Mother's Day or Easter. But it's an everyday pan as well because it has all those hallmark features. It has the enameling on the inside so that you can do those brazing or so that you can clean up quickly and easily. It has that wonderful cast iron for heat retention. I'm going to make your beef stew. Oh, I love we'll that. Out of my sear. cookbook. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about the cookbook later. But here is a quick look at uh, what you're getting in this pack up. Now, she is actually browning the beef and then she's making a quick little roux in there that'll thicken that, that gravy up. This is your Caribbean. And I have only a thousand to go around in Caribbean. So it's important to know that this is a really inviting offer with the two little mini cocottes that are made of stoneware. Your larger two and a quarter quart is going to be made of cast iron. Then I've got it for you in a bright, sunshiny, springy soleil, fewer than 500. And here's a color we almost never do. This is called hibiscus. Yes. I have only 900 of these to go around. We rarely bring this in, even on today's special value days. Wow. I don't remember us doing a hibiscus. Now, if you're wondering about value, right now at lecrisse.com, this two and a quarter quart flower cocotte and the mini cocottes together would cost you $285. We're going to do it at $85 and two pennies less. And then with the reduced shipping and handling, we're over $94 less than wow. retail. That's delivered to your door. That's great. Don't miss out on this. Everything you love about the cast iron and yes. everything you're about to learn about the stoneware. Well, yes, that's true. So we've baked, we've seared off your um, the beef in your beef or your mm -hmm. beef stew that's in your cookbook. So we got that nice and brown, that wonderful searing. And that's what you get with the heat retention of cast iron. You don't want to put um, cold meat into a thin vessel because you won't get that sear. I put a, a little flour in there according to your recipe. Yes. Now we're going to deglaze with some beef stock in there, David. And well, what's going to happen is the flour is going to react with the rendered fat from the beef, and then the stock and everything, you're going to start to see this thicken up. Yes. And you add the flour first, and you stir it around a little bit so it kind of mixes with that with that fat, and also it burns right. off some of the starchiness. This will help bind it together and thicken it as well. This is tomato paste. And make it taste a little better Ooh, even. Ooh, gives a little punch of flavor. <laughs> so we got that tomato paste going in here. We've got a, a, a shortcut of a canned of French onion soup. Correct. We're popping that in there. Then we're going to take frozen, which I love that. Who has time to clean fresh string beans. Well, string and snap them, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to put in your can of frozen green beans or your cup of frozen green beans and then frozen peas and carrots. Frozen peas and carrots. So we're going to let that kind of cook a little for a while. And remember, David, with our cast iron, because this is cast iron, this is not stoneware. Your cocottes are stoneware, but this is going to help David's uh, beef stew taste even better because you've got this precision rim that has been manufactured so with the stainless steel knob that goes in the, temp uh, in the oven up to any temperature. And look, that it's just going to kind of lock in on there. You're going to let this cook for a little while. Then we're going to put David's those dumplings, or excuse me, actually they're your canned biscuits. Yeah, these are wampum biscuits. You cut into chunks and you lay on top of the mixture. And what they will do is they'll puff up a bit as they start to cook, and then they'll absorb all that beefy great gravy. And then when they're all said and done, when you're ready to serve it, you've got beef stew with dumplings. And this recipe is in the cookbook. It's Look super easy. Here's what it looks like when it's done. Wow. See how the biscuits puff up and they absorb all that beefy flavor? Oh, this is such a, this is a rib sticker. This tastes so great. You know, it's still cold at night, David, and we all want those foods. It's Sunday. This is what Sunday should be about. Let me serve that up a little bit because not only can you do uh, your searing, but your simmering. Cast iron holds a simmer so well. It certainly does. Now, these little stoneware cocottes are fantastic, too, because you can bake in these. You're going to be able to do all kinds of things, serve in there, do individual portions in here, whatever okay. you like. If you wanted to do some little desserts in here for Easter and celebration, 
celebrations, that would be really lovely as well. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Really, really fantastic. And you're going to love the great buy here. We are over $94 less delivered to your door. I'll take that off your hands. I don't know if you want to try that or it's not. It's super hot. Can. We'll let it cool. But this is super, super buy and great colors. Let's take a look at your colors. Now, this hibiscus is a color we almost never do. I have 850 left in this hibiscus. Please don't miss out on that because that's a color we rarely do for you. Mm -hmm. That's a very soft baby pink. Then I've got it for you in Soleil, 450 to go around, bright and sunshiny yellow. And then 950 to go around in the Caribbean. Is that right? Okay. Five easy payments on your credit card and reduced shipping and handling. Don't miss out on this opportunity. This cast iron obviously goes into the oven. Right. But so do the little mini cocottes. Yes, the cocottes, that's, uh, they're the same uh, enameling that's on our cast iron, both on the interior and the exterior. So if you want to do a little bread pudding or a little uh, baked treat in here, you can do that. David, it's Easter time, so we've made carrot soup in this two and quarter quarts. Oh, perfect. Look how much this two and a quarter quarts can hold and how beautiful this is. Again, a low simmer. Let's take a little creme fraiche or some sour cream and just squirt that right on the top there. With we'll hit it with a little green. And if you want to take this to your Easter table, lid it because look how precious that is. And it'll oh, help perfect. it'll help keep your hot foods hot and your cold foods cold. Until everyone's ready to sit down at the dinner table. Yes. And oh, I love it. Look at this too, David. Um, we're talking about cold foods. Did you have ambrosia growing up? Of course I did. Uh, ambrosia is kind of an every Easter event. I can smell the, uh, the coconut from here. So for your cold foods, if you're doing potato salad or if you're doing coleslaw or if you're doing um, something where you, uh, a mousse and you want to keep it nice and cold and look how pretty d with a little maraschino cherry on the top. Mm -hmm. And then breakfast time, grits, sausage, because this goes on your oven uh, in your oven, excuse me, on your stovetop, on your on your grill. It's oven safe. It's broiler safe. We browned off our sausage, and then we're going to pour in the water and make some sausage cheese grits. David, did you grow uh, up eating grits too? Yes, of course I did. That's just kind of my favorite go-to. Mm. But think about this too for if you're making your rice or your oatmeal. Risotto. Risotto. Would yes. Be perfect. Soups and stews and, and chilies and all the kinds of things that we love. That this is on. going to be just perfect for all those kinds of things. Maybe you're going to be baking off, uh, oh, I don't know, Chris Prime's meatloaf. Maybe you could try that in here as well. All these kinds of things work out so beautifully. And the best part is it's a combination of cast iron and stoneware between the large cocotte, which yes. you've got in cast iron, and then the two minis that are done in stoneware. Now, five easy payments of $40 each. This is that box that when it comes, Oh, yeah. You just sit down on the front porch and open it right there, throw the paper all over the front lawn because you just want to get to that big gleaming flame colored box inside. Well, for, and for gift giving, you know, Easter's just right around the corner and you want to make things pretty too when you take them to the table. Now we've got the cheese grits here, but look, we also, Jerry, who's in our culinary department, who is right. just a whiz bang. She's awesome. She made a floral arrangement. So if you're giving this to mom and mom already has our entire cast iron set and you want to make, give it to her as a gift, put some Beautiful hydrangeas in it, or look how precious these cocottes are, um, David. We also have them with some cookies. Now I took the the lid of the cocottes and just kind of pressed down on a sugar cookie mix. Right. And if you need to score them out a little bit more, but you could stack those inside that those beautiful cocottes, wrap them up, and give them as an Easter gift. You can split Ooh. it up or keep all three if you want. Gorgeous. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Stacy's joining us here because I'm going to get ready for today's special value, so she's going to bring it home and yeah. also share a trivia question with you. You always get me, give me trivia, <laughs> and I always get it wrong, y'all. Not always. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> all right. So, ladies, take it away. Wrap it up, and Thanks. I'll see you okay. soon. Thank okay. You. Okay. By the way, somebody had a great idea to use the cocottes as your salt and pepper wells on your stove for every day. So you can do out. that. that yeah. is great. I meant to say that you can also use it as your sugar bowl or use it out for your sugar packets if you're doing it. Oh, one quick thing I forgot to add, Stacy, over here. This is a fast little dessert. Mm -hmm. So put some fresh berries in a bowl. This is just sour cream. You're going to dollop the sour cream on top. This Ooh. is the easiest little dessert you could ever do. Dollop the sour cream right there on the top and then take some brown sugar and hit it right in there. And that brown sugar is going to melt in that cream and it's mm. going to be creamy brown sugar. That is a beautiful, simple, one stop shop, no cooking dessert for you. Love that idea. Okay, you ready? Yes, Man. I'm ready. Okay, I have faith in you on I, this. One. I hope so. All right, trivia question time. 
In one Betty Crocker cookbook. Oh gosh. How many meatloaf recipes were produced, were included, just in one Betty Crocker cookbook?